Hello my fellow crafters. Welcome back. It is time for a new month of Call Me Crafty Owls Also Inspired collab. So this is the collab for August and the inspiration piece comes from a blog that is by Sophie Fashard and this is the blog post. Now the same picture is also my thumbnail so but I wanted to give you a, a closer better look and it's called the Embroidery Hoop Art by Sophie Fashard. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right. So this is what we had to find inspiration from for this month. Which I was excited about because I, um, I like embroidery. I have a couple of hoops. And um, so I thought this project would be really fun. So I have completed a card. And then we're going to go through the process of doing a card on camera. So this is a finished card. This is the embroidery hoop that I, I uh, ordered a die for. The background is um, wood grain. I use an embossing folder for that. And here is my uh, the the what the faux enamel dots that I make with cardstock and my glossy accent, and I use the stamp from my one of my paper pumpkin kits. Um, you made my day special, and then a strip of uh, blue cardstock to make a little uh, banner piece to run through the the sentiment card. Oh, and the stamp is from. I got this from Joann's and it's a mink, it's a mink stamp, it's, I think it's from Heidi Swap, but this is, this is the stamp set I used. And I used the flat, one of the flowers that's in there. Now with, I knew with this I wanted the image, I wanted you to be able to see the image on both sides when you open the card and on the front so it looks like it's going straight through so that's exactly what it does it looks like it's going straight through so that is the finished card so now we can get to completing the card so I can show you um, how I got to this so first thing you have to do you need your your card base and you need a card front so I did that I have the card base and my card front my card base front so first I had to run it through my embossing folder which is this wood grain of folder that I got from um, Joann's so first you have to do that you run both pieces through the embossing through the machine with the embossing folder when you do the card base you only do part of it so you gotta make sure you open it up and stick the cardstock in the embossing folder and run it through the machine next you have to cut your image out so that means you have your card base and you need to have your um, your card front over the top because you want to make sure you're cutting it um right so the embroidery hoop will fit in the center of both pieces so they need to be lined up so you just like put them on top of each other use a little washi tape to hold it down and cut because you know that you got that big piece up there you want to make sure they both go in the same way and i chose to use the deboss side as my front and not the emboss side because you know the deboss side is the image is pushed in so it's it's flat, it's flush, but you can still see that it looks like wood. The embossed side, that's raised where you can actually feel it. But I chose to use the debossed side to be the part that's going to be seen. So now we can get to putting the card together. So first, we're going to work with the card base. I need to put... Um, vellum over the top. This is going to work as a 
like a, a a glue, a base to hold the the embroidery hoop when we put it in there. And you want to make sure it's just this is just a scrap piece of um, vellum, but you want to make sure it's big enough to cover your empty space that you uh, cut out, your die cut that you cut out. So we're going to do that. We're going to tape this down. Put some tape runner around the the cutout image. So when we stick the vellum to it, we make sure we get all those those uh, really small pieces. Make sure they have some kind of glue on it to hold the vellum. So we're gonna do that. And I have a scrap piece of um, paper up under it to catch any glue or um, tape. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm also gonna put a little bit of uh, tape on the vellum because I want to make sure um, that's taped down really well around the edges. So I'm going to set this to the side for this for a second and then just go a little bit along my let me fold this because I don't want to tape on there. So I don't want um, the vellum coming up but it really shouldn't because it'll have that um, top piece on it so just go around the edges of the vellum okay I'm get that up and we can add this to the card card base. Make sure you're covering up the whole image. Like so. Like that. Now we can put the card front on. So we're going to do the same way. We're going to put um, adhesive around um, the cutout image and then of course around the side so we can make sure it stick to the card. Okay, now we are going to carefully line this up on the card base. Because you got to make sure that it's um, lined up right. So let's start at the top where the cutout is with a the um, screw part would be of the um, embroidery hoop. Make sure that's lined up. That looks good. And now the rest. Okay, now we can press that down. So now that's done. So now we have something to attach the embroidery hoop to, which is the vellum. But now, see how I have a little bit of, um, that's hanging over, so I can, I'm going to go and cut this down. It's a little bit there. So anyway you see something hanging, cut that off, because it's, nine times out of ten, it's probably some, um, glue sitting there. 
and you want to make sure that's not in your way. Now we can add the the cutout image of the flower. But before I do that, I wanted to show you the flower. So this is how I did the flower. I stamped it with my um I did the leaves in the ranger uh library green and then for the this particular card that we're working on I used my vermilion uh ranger uh ink and I stamped the the flower portion. Then I went back in um because I made a masking of the flower. So I went over, I cut, um, this is a, another flower, I cut it out, I fussy cut it, and I just laid this down, and I went over it with, um, I think this one was the Bahama, the Bahama Blue ink. And I just um, brushed the color in behind it, because I didn't want, I don't want to mess up the flower. So I can get a background in the back. A background color in the back. So I just brushed my color on. And then you remove the, the flower. Then I can go back and color it. So I used my um, Statler watercolor pencils. So this is a this is the finished one. Cause see, it has some darker tones and some lighter ones, and then this is one that's not finished. Cause I wanted to add the dark, some of the darker tones on camera. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna finish this one off with a water brush. So we're gonna use the water brush and the red watercolor pencil that's in there. So just get the brush wet so let me see if I can bring you down some. So wet the brush onto the, take the brush to the pencil to add some of the color. Now I want this dark so, and plus if you do a layer first and then you go back, you do a layer first. You let it dry and then you come back the uh, color will be a lot um, darker it, that's how you add uh, darkness to it so we're going to go over some areas not the whole thing just some of it make it a little darker in, in areas Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I just clean off my brush and put that up. Sit this aside and let that dry. And um, while that's drying, we can do the front of the card. So I cut out, well, I cut out a bunch of them. But on the front, I have um, three. No, it's four layers of this embroidery hoop cutout. And they're glued together. Now, on the first card I did, I didn't think about it until I was thinking about doing the second card that I should have put some um, clear, like, um, report card uh, cover in the middle to cover the flower. So that's what I did with this one. So that's why it's four in this one. The other card only has three layers. So I just sandwiched the clear uh, page protector in between one of the layers of the embroidery hoop so it can go in like this. But see, we need to put the image in first. So I'm going to use one of the other cutouts that I have. And we're going to lay that down 
so we can get an idea about where the image needs to go and then we'll just pull this one back out because this is dimensional this because this has dimension in it is going to stand out and I won't be able to get the image out because now I have that um, clear plastic on it so this is the first one so we know that so this one is going to go like this so now I can put some um, adhesive behind there and sit it in that circle So now we are going to sit this inside of the um, circle. And then lift this out. Because we don't need that. So now we can put the embroidery over the top and fit it in the slot. We need some adhesive on that. So I'm going to use um, a circle cutout to cover this so I can go over it with the uh, glue so I don't get any onto the plastic. And then I'll just uh, move this circle once I'm done. Now I want to pop this circle back out because we don't need that. Okay. Let's get this in the circle. Make sure your plastic doesn't have anything on it. Start up there at the top. And just fit it in the cutout. Now we have the front, at least the embroidery hoop part, complete. So that is complete. So now let's do, we're going to do the same thing on the inside of the card. We're going to use um, an embroidery hoop so we know where to place. So we'll know where to place the circle, the, f the flower for the inside. It's going to go like that. Let's get some tape on the back of here. So we had a temporary embroidery hoop on the inside. Now we can um, put the flower for the inside in. It has dried. And see where we want it. There. Let's pull out the, the temporary hoop. Lay the flower down. And the same thing for um, the inside hoop. I've added the clear plastic. So 
So we are going to do the same thing with the inside embroidery hoop that we did with the front. We're going to put a temporary circle inside the middle of the hoop so we can get the adhesive on and then just remove that inner circle so we can put the hoop down. So now we can pull that circle out and put the hoop on the back of the card, on the inside of the card, I'm sorry. Let's see, carefully pull this out, because it's going to want to try to stick because of that glue. Okay, so now you have the hoop with the adhesive on there. So now we can add this to the inside. Make sure you line it up. And plus any any glue and stuff that you see through the back side is about to be covered. So you'll you'll never see that once you put this hoop in the cutout. So make sure it's going in the circle in the cutout. And there you have it. The inside is done. So now the the inside mirrors the the front. So now all I have to do is add the sentiment. And I have already um, completed, put together the sentiment. Just have to um, stick it down and add the adhesive, um, the enamel dots. So I'm going to put two. Uh, enamel dots on the ends and stick this down here and this card will be complete. So I have uh, glued the enamel, do enamel dots on the ends of my sentiment and all I have to do is attach it. I have already put um, some uh, foam tape behind it so we're just going to center this on the front of the card at the bottom and we will be done so this card is complete so this is the second card then you have this space over here to write a message I think they came out pretty good. So this is the second card. And this is the first one. So which one do you guys like the best? The blue or the red? I mean they're pretty much the same. only difference is the red has the, um, the clear covering over the um over the flower and the blue one doesn't so that's it the inside of the blue i mean the red sorry and then this is the blue one again and that's the inside of the blue so thank you so much for joining me for another month of call me crack the owls also inspired collaboration and please go and check out the other ladies that are participating. Each of their links are down below.